Hello, I'm going to go over the plants and snails gizmo. So let's take a look. Uh, let's see if I can move myself. Goodbye. Um, here is uh, here are the prior knowledge questions that you can think about and answer. And then we're going to do a little warm up to see what BTB is. So it says with the lights on, drag a snail into one test tube and a plant into the other. Okay, here you go. And then you're going to push play and see what happens after 24 hours. Oh, the snail died. The color turned yellow and here the plant is still alive and this color turned blue. Interesting. So go ahead and write your answers. And then we're going to show the oxygen and CO2 values. So let's go ahead and click on this. And lo and behold, the yellow uh, test tube is showing that it's mostly carbon dioxide in here. If you think about it, that snail was breathing out carbon dioxide. Let's go ahead and see what's over here in the Elodia test tube. Ah, so let's see, it, it, we can see that the Elodia was um, producing oxygen and using up the CO2. Let's see what's over here. Okay, kind of equal parts and equal parts. So you can go ahead and answer those two questions. And while you're doing that, I'll show you BTB is, uh, is a chemical indicator that changes when you add something acidic. So CO2 creates, um, causes the water to become acidic. And so that's what's changing color. So here's bromothymol blue and the person is blowing bubbles into the water so that CO2 is going in there and you can see that the color is changing. The more CO2 they add, it went from blue to green to yellow. So that's always fun to do in the classroom, but unfortunately, we just have to show you that one. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and look at activity A. So uh, we're going to go ahead and reset everything. What is that resetting? Okay, so let's go ahead and I guess we have to get rid of our, oh, it's resetting the, the indicator solution. Okay, so we're going to clear all the test tubes and then we'll go ahead and turn on our oxygen and CO2 um, values. And this activity is for you to just uh, do five experiments where you're going to test uh, what happens to the BTB color when you turn the lights on or turn the lights off with different organisms. So for example, one, I might want to test the plant, uh, the snail with the lights on and the lights off. So that will be two. And then I'm going to put my results. Um, I might want to test here. We'll just do one for an example. So let's say I want to test it with the lights on. We already saw that. So let's go ahead and try and turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. And then I'm going to go ahead and see what happens to my little snail. Sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and put, I'll put the snail. And this time it was with the lights off. And let's see what happened. It died and it also has a lot of CO2. Okay, so I'll put rip. And it has high CO2. You can put the um, you can put the numbers if you want, but I think we get the general idea. High CO2, low O2 oxygen. Okay, so you're going to do that 
maybe you'll do that the snail with the lights on, the plant with the lights off, plant with the lights on. And if you can think of a fifth combination, you can do that as well. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and write uh, the answers to these questions based on your experimenting. And you're going to decide what's going on with the animals and plants. Okay, so for activity B, let's go ahead and reset that. And let's put our snail back. And this time, I'm going to turn the lights back on. And we are going to put one spring of Elodia and one snail in a test tube. So we're going to go ahead and put both of them together and see how that might affect the amount of oxygen and CO2 in our test tube. So you're going to continue with different combinations, different numbers of each. You're going to go ahead and make a prediction and then give your results. For the last activity, um, you're going to continue um, following these instructions. This one is just saying to put two Elodia, put the probe in, run it, see how the levels change when we add two Elodia versus one, um, etc. Okay, and then hopefully you understand this equation after um, we studied it last in the last lab. But um, if you have any other questions, Feel free to reach out to me, and otherwise, have fun.